what's up everybody hope you all having a great day so far today um first and foremost let me just say this to to certain people what what we call a stand um <laughs> let me just say this to y'all please stay the hell out of my comments with that nonsense like stop hating on carly okay here's the thing Carly is a fake fucking person. How do I hate on a fake fucking person? I'm giving my opinion on a character. How do let, let's 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 say this. Like I don't I don't hate on real people. I never do. I don't hate on a real person. So what makes you think I'm gonna hate on a character? Like please get out of my comments with that goofy shit and go enjoy the sun. It's the summertime. Like go get you some sun. Or maybe if you had too much sun, maybe you need to get you some shade. Um, go do something. But don't don't come in my comments with that nonsense. Um, yeah, I don't, I can't hate on a fake person. I don't like real talk. I don't even hate on a real person. So me hating on a fake one is even more crazy. Like <laughs> that shit sounds weird. Even when I say it, <laughs> hate on a fake person. Like, come on now. That's, that's so dumb. Like go on with that goofy nonsense. Um, so anyway, getting into this episode, um, I, I'm going to be real with you. Curtis and his family could have had this birthday party at the beach house. I'm just saying, like, y'all really went to the Metro Court pool to have this party when it's only just the few of y'all. Y'all could have had this at the damn house. Like, what is the point of having a beautiful-ass beach home and you're not going to throw a birthday party there? I'm just saying, like, I would have been partying at my own house. You got the beach right out there. We could have been cooking out, grilling. We could have been doing whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on. Um, don't get me wrong. The Metro court pool is beautiful, but I wouldn't throw my birthday party or not when I got a big, beautiful beach home. I'm just saying, um, I thought it was nice to Spencer to bring him such an exquisite gift. Um, expensive too. I thought it was nice. You know, it was a nice gesture and I'm glad Curtis liked it or whatever, even though he's still leery of the boy. Like I said, I don't blame people for being suspicious of, of Spencer. He's a Cassidy, you know, but even still, you can't judge him based off the family name, but I get why they would be a little, you know, hesitant to have him around because the Cassidy family is known for drama and they bring the drama. So I get it. They're dangerous. Um, and they just looking out for Trina. Um, my thing about Portia, she do need to go sit down somewhere. I mean, I get her concern for her daughter. I really, truly do. But she really need to go sit down. Part of what she said about him you know, taking care of a child is a big responsibility. I do agree with her on that. It is. It's a lot, you know, especially for somebody his age to be taking on. But I agree with Trina, too. At the end of the day, it is impressive that he wants to step up for that baby. That is impressive because not many people his age want to do that. You got people older than him that don't even take care of their kid or even kids that's not theirs. You know, they don't want to take care of nobody child. So I do commend him for that as well. Um... But for her to try to put it out there like, oh, he not going to have enough time for Trina and stuff like that. I love how he shut her down and was like, I will make time. I love that. I, that's how you handle that. And I love the way he handled it. Um, Because for Portia to sit there and try to make it seem like, oh, he not going to devote the time that Trina deserve or whatever. I'm like, ma'am, go sit down somewhere. Plenty of people have careers children relationships single parents having relationships with somebody and you know it, it, yeah, it's a lot to juggle but at the end of the day it's doable and spencer hasn't even filed for custody yet so we don't even know what's going to happen with that and even if he did you know even if he does file for custody it's like he still has a village to help him with the boy you know he got he got laura he got kevin he got you know alexis and the rest of them to pitch in and help if needed you know what I'm saying? Plus, he can hire a nanny. So, he got time. Um, He can, you know, it's not going to be that crazy to where, oh, it's baby this, baby that, and he ain't got no time for Trina. Um, I just think Portia need to let this go. Like, she really do. She just needs to accept that this is who her daughter want to be with and, and, and let that rock. Um, I'm not mad at, at Marshall for wanting to move out. I mean, if it was me, I wouldn't be moving out because I'm not about to move out no beach house that I'm staying at rent free. I'm just, that's just me. <coughs> that's just me. I'm not moving out. Like, if I'm getting free rent and this is a big ass beach house, best believe I'm staying. Y'all just gonna have to make do. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, it, it ain't going down. But I respect it. You know, he want to move out and get them they, they space and whatnot. I get it. Um, 
that whole you know Jordan and Zeke situation, I get where Jordan's coming from. It is messy. You know what I'm saying? It's too complicated. It is a bit messy. Him being, you know, Portia's brother, her being Curtis's ex-wife, it's a very messy situation. Um, and I get that his loyalty is towards his sister. I get it. But I really hope that he does not say anything to her about that kiss. You know what I'm saying? Don't say none. Because, again, it's not his secret to tell. I get the loyalty part, but it ain't his secret to tell. It's her husband's secret to tell. That's for him to tell her. You know what I'm saying? And Curtis needs to man up and start being honest with his wife. Because for a person who expects honesty from everybody around him, he sure as hell ain't being honest about a number of things. You know what I mean? So it's like you're a major hypocrite in that in that sense. But I want Jordan to have happiness. She deserves it. And I hate that she's choosing to not get involved with Zeke. You know, she wants them to forget about sleeping together and stuff. And I feel like she needs to move on with her life. And I feel like Zeke could be a good person for her once she gets to know him better. You know, and they go out on an actual date. I don't want her to just shut down her romantic life all because of a messy situation. You know what I mean? It doesn't even have to be messy. Y'all could just stay over here and let Curtis and Portia do their thing over there. You know what I mean? Like, don't don't mess up something that could be good. Um, and I feel like Zeke may be good for her. Never know. They definitely got the chemistry. They look good as hell together. So I want to see them go on some dates and get to know each other better. You know, see where that leads. I don't think she should be so quick to shut it down. Because I wouldn't. I'm just saying. Um. So anyway, moving on from that. Listen, at this point, if I was Carly, I wouldn't even argue with Drew. Like, not argue with him, but I wouldn't go back and forth about who's going to go down or who should turn themselves in or who should take the fall. Let his ass do it since he's so eager. Oh, scouting Danny, you know, scouting, I mean, scout, she, uh, I'm tongue-tied. Scout would be fine with Dante and Sam. Dante's not her father. You are. You know what I'm saying? But you're so quick to leave her into the care of other people, her mother and her mother's boyfriend, then that's your dumbass decision. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're not willing to fight, then okay. Um, but if I was Carly, I would have shut my mouth. You know, you want to go to prison, go to prison. I'm not about to sit here and argue with your ass about it. Go. You know what I mean? Like, better you than me. <laughs> I'm just saying, better your ass than me because uh, me and prison don't mix, so... And you know what them them dudes would do to, to him up in there? Like, sir, you can't fight all of them off now. You know? <laughs> you see somebody that look like Drew come up in there. I'm like, they going to try you now. They going to try you. You might want to pump your brakes on turning yourself in and try to fight this thing. I would have my lawyer work out some type of community service deal, some type of fine. You know, let me pay my little fine and be on my way do something but i wouldn't just throw myself at the mercy of the court like that either uh, <laughs> hell no um so anyway moving on from that i'm actually starting to warm up to cody you know because i love his scenes like when he's with leo and stuff like that like i love the way he reassures him and stuff tracy was such a bitch to him and i love me some tracy but what i never liked about tracy one of the things i never liked about her was the way she talked to the staff I never liked the way she talked to Alice, and I don't like the way she talked to Cody. Always, I, It's something about that, about rich people calling somebody to hired help. I, I don't like that. Like, even when I see it on TV or in real life or something like that, I hate it. I'm like, stop disrespecting these people that work. You know what I'm saying? It's like, what rich people need to understand is one bad investment, one big-ass lawsuit, you will be just like those people that you consider hired help. You will become the hired help one bad move you know what i'm saying it's like don't sit there and downplay somebody because of what they do for a living you know somebody got to do it somebody got to clean up after somebody somebody got to cook the meal everybody can't be wealthy you know everybody can't do it i just don't like the way that tracy degrades the staff at the quarter mains. you know i don't like it and then threatening to fire him and stuff like that it's like she tries to play god with people's livelihoods i'm like tracy you ain't gotta be a bitch to him <laughs> Like, he ain't even do nothing to you. You ain't got to be nasty and rude. Um, It's just so ridiculous. Because my thing about Tracy is, I love her, but she ain't really in no place to be judging nobody. Because she done did some shifty shit herself. <laughs> like, she done did shifty shit all her life over the years. So, it's like, who are you to judge him about what he does? You know what I'm saying? It's like, you're judging him and you don't even know him. 
you know. Um. So anyway, moving on from that. Um. Nina, I I I totally a thousand percent agree with Ava on that. I feel like Nina needs to get ahead of this. She needs to just tell Sonny that she talked to Martin, told Martin to tip off the SEC. She might as well because if Ned wakes up and he start remembering and he start talking and brings up her name, you're done. Even if Ned doesn't remember what happened prior to him falling, the feds are ready to snitch on you. Like they're ready to put your identity out there. Either way, you're done. <laughs> either way it's gonna come out so i agree with ava get ahead of this right now you know what i mean like she might as well i don't think she's gonna confess to sunny because i don't think it's gonna be that simple but i think that's why she took off her engagement ring because she already know once she tell him he probably gonna want the ring back anyway ava need to grow some some balls here because you know i love ava when she in badass mode but her sitting there calling um austin oh but well, what am i looking for where am i supposed to search ma'am don't do this I'm just like, man, don't don't sit here and do this. Don't do this, Ava. Like, I don't want Ava to do this. I really don't. I don't want her to, you know, spy for Mason and his mystery boss. I'd rather her boss up, talk to Sonny, and they come up with a plan. I don't want to, you know, I, I'm not used to seeing Ava be somebody's pawn. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like she's smarter than that. She's more badass than that. So it's kind of irritating to see her do this. Like, I'm like, come on, Ava, you better. You are much better than this. Um, so moving on from that. Gladys. I don't know what's wrong with her ass, but she need to stop playing with Ms. Wu. Like, Ms. Wu on her way back to town soon. So you better have that, that Skrilla. You better have that coin. Because <laughs> Ms. Wu not playing with you. She gonna sit there talking about, oh, I need more time. Did she not make it clear to you before she left that you need to have the money by the time she come back? No ifs, ands, or buts about it. You better get that money together, girl. Because Miss Wu ain't playing with you. Ain't, you can't sit here and text her, I need more time. What did she tell you before? You have no more time. Get it together. And I'm glad Sonny shut her down about talking to Sasha and stuff like that. Why would Sonny do it? Sonny agrees with a lot of other people that Sasha is becoming more stronger, more independent. She doesn't need the guardianship anymore. You know what I mean? So for Gladys... To keep insisting that, oh, it's too soon, it's too soon. That right there would have tipped me off that your ass up to something. Because if we all, everybody around her keeps seeing the progress that she's making, why do you keep trying to talk it out, you know, talk it out of her and talk it, you know, talk her down from doing this and trying to get everybody else involved in it? Oh, talk to her and get her to stop it. And all. Like, you doing some foul, suspicious shit at this point. Like, you live in foul. And I'm glad Sonny called her out and let her know, like, listen, I ain't doing nothing for you. Like, I'm not going to stop her. You know what I mean? Like, it's a wrap. You will no longer have access to her funds. You better go talk to that little doctor and see if he'll do you a solid and make it happen. That's your best bet at this point. Since y'all be in the poker games together, that's your best option. So anyway, that's pretty much the whole episode. Um, Hit the comment section. Let me know what you all thought. And I will see you all later. Peace.